So once again, hi, my name is George. I'm from Backstage TV and TV Rebel. And today we're going to do a short interview about your album, your new album, I mean, but not only about the new album. So hopefully you feel right and uh, it's going to be okay. So Perfect. First, if I can start, uh, how do you spend the COVID times and what are you doing nowadays or during the last year? Because the times are quite tough for musicians. Yeah, you know, we've been recording the new album. Uh, that's been taking quite a lot of time, but we already had plans to, to do the album. So it's not like we have changed our plans or anything, because okay. even before COVID started, we had, you know, plans to do the next album. So, uh, yeah, writing music and not only Bloodbound, I'm doing other projects as well and keeping busy, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the that's the best way I think how to survive this crazy yeah. stuff outside. Yeah, I hope it will be over soon. You know, because Hopefully. here in Sweden the the vaccine uh, the vaccinations has started and uh, lots of people are vaccinated and uh, yeah, it looks like I hope we have herd Im immunity. You know, after the summer or something. Also, the numbers of the new. Uh, New, new ill people, I would say, are getting uh, lower and lower. So hopefully we finally see the light at the end of the tunnel, right? Yeah. A year and a half or something like that. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And how do you see or uh, what do you think about the future of metal scene or music scene or music business in general after COVID? Is it going to be the same as it was before COVID or something is going to change? Or uh, will the fans be more hungry and more like, uh, you know, uh, crazy about going for the gigs or it's going to be the opposite way and they would rather stay at home and watch some online gigs. What do you think about it? I think people are sick and tired of online streaming gigs, you know. I think so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think everybody's want to go out, you know, have a good time and uh, forget about this last year and a half. And yeah, I think everybody wa wanted to, to go back to normal. I think so. Because this is not a you know way to live, you know, being afraid and keeping distances, and it's totally insane. I think. Yeah, it's really crazy. I agree with that. Okay, so fingers crossed for all of us. Yeah. So, uh, what kind of keyboards do you use, and why? Or effects, maybe, or what kind of instruments do you use? And what would you recommend to the new keyboard players in metal, like from young keyboard players? Keyboards. I have this. I don't know if you can see it, the keyboard, but I have in the back there. <laughs> it's uh -huh. a Yamaha that I'm using for everything. It's a MX61. It's a perfect, you know, live keyboard. But then when it comes to uh, when I record, I oh, I use plugins. A lot of plugins, different, mm -hmm. you know, or orchestra plugins, um, dance music keyboards. You know, I mix every everything you know so uh, uh, the keyboard you can learn how to play on any keyboard you know okay. so it's all about finding the right sounds and writing the best songs you can you know And who was your idol when you started with keyboards? Who was your inspiration, you know? I, I don't know if I really have a, an inspirational, you know, keyboard player. I I think the song is the most important thing of music. It's not how fast you play or, you know, uh, how many... Notes you know, you're able to do. <laughs> how many notes you can do and uh, show off it. It's all about writing the... Uh, it's all about the song, whether it's metal music or pop music, or if you have a good song, a good song is a good song, you know, and I I tend to focus more on, you know, the writing and the, the song material than, mm -hmm. of course, I play too, but it's that is the most important thing, I think. Man, so I would I, sign it. I would sign it. I think this is totally a big truth because the good song is good even with one acoustic guitar on one yeah. shitty keyboard, you know. And uh, 
when you have a bad song with all great arrangements, you know, it uh, wouldn't save it. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I always, uh, when I write songs myself, I always do a very simple demo, you know, with maybe just bass and keyboards and some drums and and then I work out the vocal melodies and the harmonies and if that is good then I know it's a good song you know because if you start with the arrangements and start to build that you know you I think you start in the wrong end so to speak yeah. so it needs to be good on like you say just an acoustic guitar yeah melody. I always say it's like building up the house and you start with the roof when you are starting yeah. with just arrangements and all bombastic kind of stuff and not with the basic melody and the basic harmony of the song. Okay, so let's go back to my questions, please. So, who creates the image of the band and especially the outfits of your singer, you know, because it's really special and it's something really original. So, uh, which idea it was? Uh, you know, you, you mean with the horns and yeah, the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, He's got a similar hairstyle like me, so I was thinking about it, you know, that's cool, it's something interesting. <laughs> if you don't have any hair, you know, you, you have to do something else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, from the beginning, it was Thomas Olsen, the guitarist, uh, it was his idea to... He asked uh, Patrick if he was, what do you think about having, you know, horns? <laughs> and he was, <laughs> he was up for it and um, we started to, you know try different things and uh, yeah we came up with the the horns idea and and then the dragon thing came the dragon mask and everything came after and but now we have stepped away a little bit from the dragon theme on the latest album so I don't think it's gonna be a dragon mask this time around That's what I was about to ask as well, like what is the difference uh, between uh, Creatures of the Dark Realm and your last album, uh, Rise of a Dragon Empire, like what is the difference in lyrics or in the story or what is new on the new album or what topics you uh, wanted to share with your fans? The thing is, uh, it's still, you know, in the fantasy genre and uh, but when it comes to the lyrics, uh, Thomas, our guitarist, he wrote almost all the lyrics so mm -hmm. he's the one you should ask about all the stories okay. <laughs> and stuff <laughs> i i don't think i can go into it but uh, he is the one to explain it in the best way so i rather leave it alone the stories okay no problem no problem so uh but less dragons as you said right yes. less dragons, dragons more horns yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the okay. horns are there. and uh what about your songwriting is it easier for you to write music or lyrics what like? uh, I, I've written lyrics in the past as well. But, I know uh, I've read some interviews, so that's why I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I mostly write lyrics and, uh, oh sorry, music and the melodies and stuff like that these days. But Thomas had an idea of, you know, different concept albums with the War of Dragons album and Rise of the Dragon Empire. So mm -hmm. then we said, just go ahead and write the lyrics. So. Uh, I I prepare I, pre, I prefer to write the the music only and, and the melodies and stuff like that. Okay. So, so yeah, now, you're have... happy the, now you're happy with the last album, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All the lyrics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. Uh, how was the recording process, or creating songwriting and then recording process? Was there anything uh, like interesting or new for you? Something which you would like to share with the fans, like? Uh, during the recording process, something new in the studio or whatever? Uh, to be honest, we we have worked more or less in the same way on the last three albums. Mm -hmm. It's me, Thomas and Patrick who writes all the material and we 
we sit in our, in our home studios. I'm in my studio at the moment, so mm -hmm. uh, we, we work on ideas and send them back and forth and uh, build the songs from there, you know. Cool. So uh, it's just sending files and uh, changing things and uh, yeah, just write and write and write and then take the best songs and for the album. Mm -hmm. So it's it's the same. It's been the same way for the last couple of albums, really. Okay, so, so this is just the way which works for you. That, that's the best. Yeah, it, yeah, it works. So uh, okay. we we do this way from now on, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I've seen that uh, the album is out on 28th of May, and uh, you also re you're also releasing the version of CD and DVD with it. So what's gonna be on the DVD? Uh, what is there? It's uh, live from Masters of Rock in oh. your beautiful country. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, Masters of Rock uh, 2018 uh, mm -hmm. is the bonus DVD. Cool. So it, well, it was a very windy day. We couldn't use the backdrop, and we couldn't use no equipment on on stage. So oh. it's just us. It's just us on the stage. Make it. <laughs> yeah. Blood down. Make it on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it was a great gig. It was a great audience and great show. And so uh, yeah. It's, it's always a, great there. I've been there seven times on the Ronnie James Dio stage and it's always great, you know, the fans there are just amazing. So, uh, what is your favorite song from the new album? Because I've heard just three of them, the official video and two lyric videos. And mm. so, what is your favorite track on the new album? I'm not and sure. If, I'm not sure if I can pick a track. I have the the album here. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, when fate is calling, ever burning flame, eyes come alive, are my favorites. It's hard okay. to pick one. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to push you to pick one. You know, <laughs> this is totally okay. I would say. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yep. So so. Uh... Who chose the title track for the first official video? Was it like the band's idea or label's idea or how it is in this case? It was, it was a discussion between us and AFM Records. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a discussion for all three singles. Uh, but uh, we thought the title track, Creatures of the Dark Realm, is a little bit different compared to the others, a little, little bit special. So we. Mm -hmm. We picked that song for the main video and then made two other lyric videos. And are you still gonna uh, film some more videos for the album or this is just it and uh, no more videos? I'm not really sure. Maybe one more video, but it, nothing is settled yet. So Okay. But uh, for now it's the, the main video and two lyric videos. Mm -hmm. And who chose the Rainer Zip Ransom, if I'm writing it in the right way, uh, the author of the lyric videos? Are you cooperating with him for a longer time or uh, is he a new guy for you? He's a new guy. He, uh, the, the record label had him, uh, okay. they, they recommended him and hired him. So uh, I'm not really sure who it is, the, the lyric video guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But uh, yeah. <laughs> But he made lyric videos for many bands like Odin Organ and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And yeah. Cool. And so, the videos are quite, you know, perfect, I would say. So you can be satisfied yeah. with it. Went with the new <laughs> lyric video guy.
So that was all for today, and you can look forward to the rest of my questions next week. See you there. Close the